I back the red horse? No, man, that was my horse. I backed the red. Oh, yeah, how come the red one if you backed it? What are you trying to say? I'm a loser. Stop torturing her, Neil. Can't you see she's suffered enough? Look, she's a wreck from having been abandoned by the man who loves her, right? Look, if I'm lying, may I struck by a thunderbolt be now? See? Do you think he's abandoned me? Oh, shut up, Katie. Oh. Jess, you know it's your mum's birthday tomorrow. Oh, God, what? I don't think it would go. It's all right, I knew you would. I, I got one for you to give to her. The Monet painting with the two women walking across the poppy field. It was 72p, just give me 80, that'd be fine. I'll tell you something about that card, not, <laughs> not many people know. And that is that it's not poppies, it's blood, you see, because Monet's daughter was called Poppy, and she exploded in that field out of sadness. And when, and when they reproduce the painting now, they have to use the blood of that many famous rabbits. That's a ridiculous story. Thank you. That's Thank really thoughtful, Shats. It's really it's thoughtful. It's all right. I know. Kindness is sometimes really hard to deal with. When I was five years old, my parents bought me a bed. I was so happy. The tears just rolled down my little smiling face. <laughs> Come on. Let's get a stamp and send that off to your old mum. It's a bit late, isn't it? Can we get it registered or something? I pack the red. I win. Katie, you know how yesterday I told you that I was so unhappy I really needed to talk to somebody or else I'd top myself and you said you'd come and see me? No. Yeah? What? And you know you didn't come. Couldn't lie? No. Well, that's because I was upstairs trying on my pink out. It's just like, you know, I'd made you a cup of coffee and I put it on the side and it started to go cold and it just looked so pathetic and expectant just sitting there in its coffee face looking up at me. It started to get a skin on it. I had to put a tea towel over it. Well, Sally, next time, mate, I don't take milk, OK? I just wanted to tell you, that's all. Do you think I'm selfish? No, that's not what I was saying. Well, yes, it is, actually. You are selfish, you know. Hey, Very. Those my tights? No. Jesus. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm worried, man. I think my leg's declaring independence from the rest of my body. Fight it, man. Fight it. <laughs> OK, I will, I know. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. It, it didn't work. I know. We'll try harder next time. The ducks are flying low over the hills this winter. Then they are fools, as they may hit the cliffs and bruise their wings. I find the weather somewhat cool and strangely misty. Yes, and the pants are turning brown and falling off the trees. Glad to make contact with you at last. Hello. You Hello. must be Capricorn, good sense of humour, from Southampton. Six foot one, Pisces, from Saffron Walden. That's me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you weren't wearing a hat in the photo. No, I wasn't. I, I thought perhaps a meal and then an opera. Good idea. Yep, I is going right down the pan, isn't he now? Well, awful. Hello. <coughs> Every year, hundreds and thousands of small schoolboys are sent away by their uncaring parents to institutions known as public schools. Here, they are forced to endure endless sexual perversion, such as fratting, cold pig, and for the older pupils, night baseball a nasty jack. They are then expected to leave those very walls which corrupted them, corrupted them, and enter top jobs in the city, the civil service, politics, and other unpleasantly high-paid careers. I belong to a society dedicated to releasing public schoolboys into the wild, where they can live natural and normal lives, and maybe even begin to start breeding with the opposite sex again. Last year, we were responsible for giving 200 of these poor unfortunates their freedom. Of them, 100 were immediately run down and killed by cars. 50 were taken away by owls and foxes, and 49 were murdered while soliciting in public toilets. But one lucky fellow was able to use his limited brain power and now holds down a successful job as a lamppost and is married to an ant. It is successes like these that make our job worthwhile but we need your help. Please send your donations to the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Public School Bastards, P.O. Box 1000, Harrow, Middlesex. Thank you. Morning, Boffin. Morning, Boffin. Morning, Boffin. Morning, Boffin. Morning, Boffin. Morning, Boffin. A minute. Are you a Boffin? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. But you're a woman. Yes. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? Certainly. This woman here says she's a Boffin. What? what? Sir, be uh, better get another opinion. Yes, I would have you. Hello? I'm Can sorry. you send in a boffin, please? <laughs> Morning. What? This is a woman, but we're not really sure if she's a boffin. I see. Are you a boffin? Wait, 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 w
Yes. Excuse me, can you send in a boffin, please? We're not quite sure whether the boffin you sent in earlier is really a boffin. Yes, she's a woman. Hello, thank goodness you're here. This woman here claims to be a boffin. We sent for a boffin identifier, and they sent us this woman here. Could you tell us if these women, here and here, are they both boffins? Are you a boffin? Uh, wait a minute, she's a woman. Woman. That's a woman. Yes, a woman. I am a boffin. I too am a boffin. Well, wait a minute, are you a boffin? Yes. Are you a woman? Yes. Aha. Well, you can be a boffin and a woman. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Right. 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 You mean a boffinette? Yes. Or a boffin with an E. A boffoos. Ah, a boffess. Yes. How do we know that you are a boffess? She said so. How do we know that you're a boffess? She said so. How do we know that you're a boffess? How do we know you're a boffin? Ah. ah. Good question. Are you a boffin? No. Well, then you'd better go. Yes. But how do you know he's a boffin? What? Ah. <laughs> Are you a boffin? A boffin? A boffin, yes. I'd better go. Ah. ah. So, neither of those boffins were boffins. Are you a boffin? Cheerio. Ah. ah. What is a boffin? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. We'd better go. Yes. Uh, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join in the holy... Uh, no, sorry, that's the wrong one. Uh, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him... No, no, oh God, sorry. Uh, the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. No, no, sorry. Uh, sorry, a bit the worse for wear last night. <laughs> um, this is one small step for mankind. Uh, and... Oh, no, no, I, I can't remember it. Uh, I should have bought my book. Anyone got a book? No. Oh, um, uh, this person is dead. Uh, he, he was alive and now he's dead. And we're, we're burying him for health reasons and because it's not legal uh, to leave him lying around decaying. And uh, the, the Lord is pleased, uh, very pleased, and um, he's taken him away for, for quite some time, but, uh, but there's a chance that we will meet again. Uh, don't know where, don't know when. Um, uh, uh, but, but there are only a few things that, that can be taken away from a man, and, and this is one of them, yes. Uh, but uh, not dead. No, no, he's not dead, only sleeping. Uh, but it's a very long and deep sleep. Um, uh, difficult to wake him from it, you know, even with a very loud alarm clock. Very loud. Um, and so say all of us. So, ashtrays to ashtrays, uh, dusk till dawn, um, amen. What are you bloody staring at, eh? What's the problem? You want to start something? What is it? What's wrong with her as well? You on your period? Oh, oh yeah, I right. leave me to do the dirty work. What's your name? Come on, Moldy. It's Christmas Eve. Let's get out of here. Sure, Dana. I guess these cases can wait until the new year. What are they? A talking fish and a monkey with the ass of a Norwegian. <laughs> not exactly high priority. I guess not. So, Scuzzy, what are you getting for Christmas? Oh, I don't know. Maybe some walnuts and a Ronco buttonholer. Yeah, that's nice. What about you? Well, I won't know that until he's been, will I? What do you mean? I mean, I won't know exactly what I'm getting until St. Nick comes down the chimney and delivers the goods. Christ, Moldy. You're not actually telling me you believe in Santa Claus, are you? Don't you? Listen, I, I know your tendency to embrace infeasibilities like a dog might embrace the leg of a stranger often proves me wrong and makes me look hard-nosed and skeptical and secretly puts forward the notion that men are better than women when it comes to matters of the paranormal, but this time you're wrong. I mean, Santa Claus is like a Christo-pagan mythological figure. Invented to keep materialistic children good at wintertime. <laughs> you're wrong, Dana. And you're right? Oh, come on, Scuzzy. You know me. I'm always right. I mean, I was right about the giant mice, wasn't I? Yeah, I suppose so. Huh. Peter the Demon? Yeah. The Great Soprando? Yeah. Glow-in-the-dark nuns? Yeah. Electric hair? The penis-shaped vegetable factor? Magic ants? Naughty sand? Stiff maggots? The Whispering Death Burger. Fashionable harpists. Iron gerbils. Fish that love. 
reversible dogs, metal ferries, the independent thoughts of Mick Fleetwood's beard, magnetic bacon, poisonous camels, spiders with really nice permed hair, Native American floating socks. Yeah, I'm oldie. No, really? That's impossible. I've never heard anything so stupid. What are you, nuts? <clears throat> Moldy, what is it? That was my brother-in-law. My sister's been pregnant for the last nine months. According to Steve, she's just given birth to a human baby. No excess hair, no extra limbs, no psychokinetic capabilities. It's absurd. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Moldy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Think of all these little animals in their nests waiting for the sun to come up again. I wonder what keeps them going, apart from nuts and berries. Hate. Hake. Hate. <laughs> hate keeps them going. The worms hate the sparrows, and the sparrows hate the owls, and the hedgehogs hate the cars. <laughs> it's hate. Well, we don't hate each other. Some of us do. I hate Neil. Thanks, man. But not all of you. Just the bit that when I quote a line from a film, you always tell me that I'm wrong. Yes, but you usually are wrong. That's the bit about you that I hate. The bit that makes my guts turn like a pig's pizzle. Pocahontas. No, it's true. Well, I don't hate anybody. Yeah, and that's what I hate about you, Jessica, is that you don't hate anybody. Well, I hate you for hating me. Good. I hate all of you because you think I'm exactly the same as Sally, which just isn't fair because, I mean, her hair's at least eight shades less blonde than mine. Oh, I just hate <laughs> all this hate. That's what I hate. I'm going. Oh, bugger off then, eh? Hey. Oh, up yours, Peggy. Oh, bite my ass. Oh, oh get babe. lost. Hey, oh. Neil's fallen foul of a molehill. <laughs> hey, Neil. All right, mate. That's brilliant. I put it to you, Mr. Wilde, that you did procure, pick up, sweet talk, and give the business to a series of dissolute yoo boys for the purpose of indulging in a number of happenings or love-ins at your provocative flat in Chelsea. Am I correct? A flat is either provocative or it is in Chelsea. It cannot possibly be both. <laughs> I also put it to you that you did pay these lollipops or bratty boys with used five pound notes and gave them gifts of coal, string and soiled paper. Am I correct? Oh, one may give string to a beautiful young man, but to give string and coal would be the height of ill manners. <laughs> I have a witness, Mr. Wilde, who will testify to this court that you engaged him in bum chat in the Charing Cross Road and did then fillet his horse for sixpence. Do you deny this? Oh, one may deny it, or one may say that it is not true. To do both would be akin to sending one's laundry to the wrong address on Christmas Day. <laughs> Mr. Wilde, do you think that you could possibly be a bit funnier? What? A bit funnier, Mr. Wilde. You're supposed to be the wittiest fop in England. If the best you can do is talk about sending your laundry to the wrong address on Christmas Day, then I'm afraid I'm just going to have to go home. One can go home, or one may oh, see the up sandwich. Oh, great auntie. Auntie! Um, these two aunties walk into a pub. I know you've been to a pub, Mrs. Get off, Mr. Wilde! Um, aunties in a pub. Handbag! Handbag, and suddenly... You're not funny, Mr. Wilde. Start the car! There you are. God, I tell you what, Carol. It is so cool out there. I know. It's mega wicked shabba. I know, only if I like coolest. Like, mega wicked shabba. Quite ravers getting here, man. And that's us. Right, we are the posse. Mega wicked shabba! Mega wicked shabba. So, what time have you got to be in? Half ten, have yeah, you? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll tell you what, mate. I didn't think that bouncer was going to let us see him. No, man. No, man. I knew he would, right, because he fancied me. I think he wanted to sleep on me, man. Well, you wouldn't, would you? No, not with school night. <laughs> no. Yeah, everybody out there, right? Everybody is, like, on something, right? Blow, coke, fizzy drinks, ease, bees, you name it, man. In fact, I bought some off the bouncer. You bought some drugs? <laughs> Yeah, man. A load of stack of designer drugs, man. They're in this bag. Every drug imaginable, man. God, don't know about this, Carol. Drugs can kill, man. Oh, man, it's okay. It's okay. Because, like, I've only bought, like, a little bit of each, right? 
We're not gonna like BP or like cold chicken or anything. What you got? Right? I got like I got like um, purple hearts, um, uppers, downers, and in the middlers. Let's do it, man. Let's chew the dragon. Right. This is amazing. I know, man. You got peas coming out of your face, man. Where, man? Peas everywhere, and there's like a little orange hat on your shoulder, man. What? Everywhere. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Everything's gone like green, red, red. red. Everything's wow. gone red. Wow. 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 I think I'm coming down now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm out as well. I'm coming down as well, yeah. Mm. How do you feel? Do you feel all right? I feel a bit sick. Yeah, I feel. I think I'm going into warm chicken. No, cold chicken. It's not warm chicken. It's cold chicken. You're such a demo sometimes. God, you didn't even see anything anyway. You just made it yes, up. I did. I did. I saw you everything didn't. you saw. School yes, shoes. Oh School God. shoes. I want to go home. I think, that, I think that stuff had some heron in it, right? Let's go then. I want to go home. Once in Royal David City. Not that one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Not we wi- that one. Mm. Hark there, old angel. Oh, not here. I don't know anymore. You have a go. Uh, hubba, nagila, hubba, nagila, hubba, nagila, hubba, nagila, hubba. Good evening. What do you want? Don't answer that. Um, happy birthday. Happy New Year. Well, um, this is for you. Not here! Put that away! What's that for? For your carol singing. I wasn't singing. Were you? No, I was breathing. What are you doing on my doorstep, then? Looking for our cat. Extemporising. Would you like to come in for some mince pie? Mince pie? So, what are you raising money for? Raising money? Christmas. Cake! Uh, Christmas cake. Would you like some mulled wine? Did you mull it yourself? No, it came in a... Don't answer that! Fine. Uh, do you come here often? Yes, yes. I, I come here every day. I live here. Fine, <laughs> fine. Fine. So, what's Father Christmas bringing you? Some moss. A forward roll. Where are the pies of mince? Ah, I'll just go and fetch them. How do we get out of here? I don't know. We'll have to make a subtle excuse. Oh. Everything OK? No problem. Fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. Can we go now? Why, you've got to sing carols at other houses? Yes, that's it. Fine. 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 Can we open your presents now? Not here. We've got to go. Oh, no. Not before you've eaten your mince pie. Yes. Mm, everything's fine. Have you got me, Sherry? Are you going to sing carols for me or not? Oh, little town yeah, louder. Of Just a bit louder. <clears throat> you, big one, do the harmony bit. Do the harmony. No, do the dirty version. Say that line about shark fishing. Now. Okay, Miranda, give me your best shot. Right, LJ, um, this is my idea for the new traffic warnings mm. uniform. Um, now, as I see it, um, a lot of C2s and Ds associate the colours, yellow and black, with wasps, mm-hmm. yeah? So these are my ideas for the new traffic warden's uniform with pink, fluffy collar and a feather boa. I think what it says is, mm-hmm. hello, um, I'm warm and friendly. I might give you a ticket if you're naughty, but I won't bite. OK, Miranda, OK, it's quite nice, but I think it's just a little bit... Hello, I'm Barbara Cartland. Ah, uh, Bob, what about you? What's your angle on this? <clears throat> um, well, I thought we could dress them all up as fish. A uh, fish, Bob? Yeah, you know, like, you know, monkfish and mackerel and halibut and, you know, mm-hmm. cod. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of a, a fish look. That, uh, you could have higher-ranking officers as lobsters. And you could start as a lowly flounder and then work your way up to become a squid for a while. And then eventually you get your claws and pincers. Yeah, and why fish, Bob? Because people respect fish. Mm. Oh, great. Uh, great idea, definitely worth exploring. Uh, Adrian, what about you? Last but not least, what's your solution on the problem? It's a simple idea, really. I just thought people would have a better perception of traffic wardens if mm. they were more reasonable. Like, if you uh, came back one minute late to your meter, for instance, they could let you off. <laughs> oh. uh, right. So it's the fish, then? Pint of blood, is it, sir? Yes, please. What have you got? Well, we've got a nice hoppy group A here, or the guest blood this week is a delightful O-positive from Chroma. 
Mm, sounds great. Very well, sir. Oh, dear, it feels a bit congealed. But... Oh, yes, it is. Tom, could you pop down to the uh, cellar and change the uh, virgin, please, mate? Thank you. Sorry about that, sir. Would you like to try one of our new trending Mexican bottle bloods instead, sir? Um, dos Cupuscles, perhaps. Mm, sounds peachy. Could I have a recess negative chase of that, please? Certainly, sir. Mm, well, I've never sucked their neck with a lime in it before. <laughs> very droll, sir, very droll. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Why do you fellows always bite on the neck? Only I went to see uh, Neil Jordan's controversial adaptation of Anne Rice's interview with the vampire last week, and in that particular movie, they all seem to prefer supping on the wrist area. Oh, no, that's just Hollywood. They just do it to be different. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> no, it's much better to go for the neck. Is that a technical reason, sir? Oh, no, it's a sex thing. Ooh. It's one of those erogenous zones. Have you ever thought of becoming a vampire yourself? I don't mean to be forward, but I think you'd be enchanting as, well, one of us. You think so, sir? Oh, definitely. Well, I don't know. What's the pay like? Oh, the pay's terrible. We do it for the love of it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, don't go on. It's great. You get to stay up all night. Okay, so you can't get out during the day. But hey, what do you miss? Richard and Judy? Yeah, that's a fair point, I suppose, sir. Can I think about it? Sure, no pressure. Why not we discuss it over dinner? Well... Oh, I don't know, sir. I mean, this all seems to be going very, very fast. I mean, I really do like you, but uh, I just don't think it would work, you see. You're dead, I'm not. The necking would take on a whole new meaning, and to be honest, I've just come out of a rather messy relationship. Not half as messy as the one I've just had. I can imagine. Um, look, why don't you come in next week, and we'll discuss it then. Give me some time to think about it, all right? <sighs> all right. All right. You saucy little monster. <laughs> oh, dear, get away. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the future. My name's Mallet. Jim Mallet. DSS. Fraud Squad. <laughs> there is mm. more money there than most people can even dream of. Imagine what you could do with it. Mm. Hi there, big boy. Why not come up to my place and scare some puppies? Mm? Your car is like yours. This is my dream! Stop spoiling it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you see, there is enough money there to make even your wildest dreams a reality! <laughs> Corruption is a cancer that stalks all walks of life. An uncontrollable monster, an evil feeding on the weak. There! Everything you have always wanted in a briefcase. We have a deal. Nine? Nah. I'll get you for this, Mallet. I'll be back. I hope so. <laughs> Um, sister said we could make up our own rave uh, carols. Yeah, to like jazz it up a bit, because like we're into dance music and house music and that. So we've done one, haven't we? For Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Um, like... Hark the Herald Angels Sing! Sing, pump it up, pump it up. Let's hear Hark it in the house, the you Herald mothers, you mothers. Angels Let's take it higher. Rock it, rock it, rock it. It's kicking in, kicking in, kicking in, kicking in. Glory to the newborn king. Pump it up, pump it up. Let's take it higher, take it higher, take it higher. 